Greetings class. Thank you for joining me for this week's discussion on historical scholarship as we highlight some additional resources to include in my dissertation concerning unforeseen consequences, the political decisions and changes that led to Germany's Nazi tyranny. Utilizing the Jerry Falwell Library, I was able to examine an array of sources related to Germany's political climate and decision making uh, between 1918 and 1945. And in doing so, I, I utilized two major databases, the Oxford Scholarship Online and Project Muse database. Now, one of the primary goals of my research is to provide a chronological overview of this transition from seemingly a democratic ruled Germany uh, up into a authoritarian Nazi rule by beginning with the post-World War I Treaty of Versailles up through the Weimar Republic and then into Hitler's uh, Third Reich. And looking at the different political decisions, uh, government law, and things that were enacted that had unforeseen consequences that really began this kind of transition towards authoritarianism and restrictive control of government in the middle of what was at the time a country that was trying to implement uh, more, a more democratic style of government and kind of see how these decisions really slowly over time transition the nation towards a more restrictive and authoritarian regime that Hitler was then able to kind of uh, utilize to his advantage as he rose to power and then really crack down and implement his tyranny once he was in charge. So in looking at the Weimar administration and kind of some of the restrictive laws and the kind of social and political turmoil of that period that led uh, into Hitler's rule, I uh, found several sources that kind of highlight the struggles of that period and the, the governmental failures of that period. Uh, some of those include uh, Simon Unger Alvey's work, Leaders Not Lords, Furidum, Democracy and Nazism in the Weimar Republic. Another work, uh, Ellen Kennedy's book, Constitutional Failure, Carl Smith in Weimar. And then Eric White's text, Weimar Germany, Promise and tra Tragedy, all of which kind of add a significant understanding of the Weimar administration failures, the, the struggles that were happened due to the social, economic, and political struggles of that era. And a lot of the laws and the governmental decisions that were made during that time really progressed the, the nation towards this kind of totalitarian rule, uh, seemingly coincidentally or accidentally, uh, but nonetheless, that kind of foundation is laid during the Weimar administration. Another thing that I've uh, wanted to look at in including in my dissertation research methodology is the inclusion of some case studies, whether that be individuals or specific areas. And so I was able to find a couple of works that dealt with specific regions in Germany and kind of this transition from uh, Weimar into Nazi rule. And so, so uh, two works are by the same author. And so uh, these include David Imhoff's work, Sharpshooting in Göttingen, a case study of cultural integration in Weimar and Nazi Germany, and Becoming a Nazi Town, Culture and Politics in Göttingen Between the World Wars. So hopefully this will offer some additional insight into this specific German town of Göttingen during the kind of proposed timeline from the Treaty of Versailles into the Weimar Re Republic and then over into Nazi rule and kind of highlight the changes that are going on and some of the, the decisions that have been made that start to lay this foundation for authoritarianism and then make it much easier for Hitler to consolidate his power once in charge. And so through further database research and uh, continuing to de develop this research method, uh, I am hoping to fully flesh out uh, my dissertation research and enhance it that much further. Thank you.